play everything now what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show welcome to play everything now so today we are talking about a movie that i just watched called kiwi or kimi uh on hbo max this was released on february 10th it is directed by steven soderbergh it is a thriller and the main actor in this is zoe kravitz she actually is going to be Catwoman in the Batman coming up and I can't wait to see that that is going to be a phenomenal film I don't even have to watch that new Batman film already. I can tell you that but anyway, let's not digress Let's get back on point. So what is the plot about this plot is about a techie a female who is involved I guess it's called voice recording. She analyzes voice similar to how they program like an Alexa to hear things and then give you the information, the gathering of information. And she kind of is responsible for adding information in, all new information she adds into the system. So while listening to countless hours of recorded footage of people, she realizes that she listened to a crime that has occurred. And it kind of plagues her because it kind of goes back into her, it, 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 it brings back memories and she's pretty much familiar with what she heard because she's been through it already. So she's pretty much 100% sure a certain crime has taken place. Now the problem with this is you have the privacy of these machines in your house that listen to you. She feels like she has a moral obligation to report this and make this aware to the company that this needs to be identified and maybe go after whoever was involved in this particular crime that she kind of came across while doing her job. Um, and the company's like, no, there's a certain level of privacy that people have. We don't really care no matter what it is. We don't care what you heard. Forget about it. But she cannot forget about it because she feels so compelled to make this known, to bring this to the FBI. And she eventually attempts to do that and that causes the company to come after her. She's sort of like a whistleblower. And there's a lot of money at stake and there's a lot of big wigs or a big wig that is gonna go down if this information goes out. So that's pretty much the plot of it. She also suffers from, let's go to the phone. She suffers from a condition called agoraphobia. Fear of places and situations that might cause panic, helplessness, or embarrassment. Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder that often develops after one or more panic attacks. So she's had a situation where she went through that is causing this condition. And it's shown actually very well in the film. The, first of all, I want to say that the way they captured her anxiety when she went outside or even in the house was stellar. It was amazing. When she's walking outside or she's running, the camera's right behind her, she's looking around. Um, phenomenal job with the camera work, creating that atmosphere of anxiety when um, the main star was out and about. And Zoe actually played the character very well. I gave her five stars, hand down for the way she played the character. You really felt the anxiety. So she did a really good job. Really good job with the acting, I think. And I can't wait to see her on Batman. So moving on to soundtrack or music. Yeah, there really wasn't too much music, or if there was, it wasn't really memorable. Um, I pretty much forgot whatever tunes were in it. Unlike the other movie that I reviewed, Yakuza Princess, where that, that techno track kind of stuck with me. But for the most part, it was pretty much a quiet movie. So, dealing with the sound of this movie, well, this is not an action movie, so you're not going to have all your speakers being worked. But what it does, it does decent. It does it average. But it's nothing that's going to blow your socks off. So it's just average on sound. Um, special effects. There's not too much special effects as far as, you know, fighting is concerned. There's like one action scene um, in the film. I'm not going to ruin it for you. But special effects are pretty much non-existent. You had somebody with an uh, injury um, and they were tending to it. So it just looks like a regular injury that you would see out in the street or at the hospital or at surgery. So they did a good job with that. Um, but it's not really that difficult to throw some tomato sauce on a, on a shirt. So negligible for, you know, special effects. I think that this film was rushed. It could have been developed more. Um, the ending was 
has I had some questions. How did you know the main character develop these skills? She was pretty proficient with uh, you know killing. Uh, I, would, I would love to know a little backstory on her. None, none of these characters' backstories were really developed, much like Yakuza Princess. Um, the characters just weren't developed. Um, you kind of had to piece things together. And I think they could have did a better job on that aspect. But the premise of the film, though, was good. It, lets, it, you, it makes you question, you know, all of these devices that are listening to us. So what if we're doing something that may be, you know, against the law or you did a committed a crime. Now you have the audio recorded at all times and then we technically being recorded everywhere we go. So, guys, we just got to be careful and in, 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 uh, cognizant of the devices that we have in our home. So this is based real world and technically it can happen. So is this movie worth a watch on HBO Max? No. I would say no. Was it bad? No. But it's just an average film, almost like a filler film to the blockbuster. So if you're looking for a film to fill the spot while you're waiting for these big blockbuster films to come out, then, you know, waste an hour and a half, watch this. But it is very forgettable. So in my opinion, pass on it, go watch something else. But if you must watch something, I guess, but... I'm sticking with the past. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the quick video today. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.